I'm uh, Shobhana Subramanian. I'm assistant managing editor with the Financial Express, and uh, this is just a little take on the markets after the finance minister announced the union budget today for 2013-14. Uh, it hasn't been a big bang budget, but uh, it has been disappointing on several counts. Uh, to begin with, uh, the finance minister has done very little for the retail investor. As we all know, the retail investor hasn't been in the market at all, as we can see from the data uh, from mutual funds. The redemptions have been very high. So apart from just tinkering with the Rajiv Gandhi equity scheme, the finance minister has done virtually nothing. He could have perhaps you know, reduced the short-term capital gains tax from the current level of 15%, even brought it down to 10% or done away with it. And that would have really given the sentiment a boost, but he hasn't done that. And in fact, uh, in some ways, he's discouraging long-term investors because what the finance minister has done is that he has brought down the securities transaction tax uh, on certain key trades. Now, that is essentially encouraging day trading uh, because it's in the uh, options and futures segment. So while that might give the market a bit of liquidity, it doesn't really encourage long-term investment. In fact, this was an opportunity for the finance minister to have done something to lure small investors back into the market because the government is looking to raise 50,000 crore plus through disinvestments of PSUs in FY14. Now, while the stocks that he intends to sell or the shares of the companies that the government intends to sell are no doubt uh, very good fundamentally, uh, an improved sentiment would have made sure that the issues went through successfully. To that extent, the finance minister has disappointed us. Uh, as far as foreign investors are concerned, foreign institutional investor, uh, this is probably the first time ever that the finance minister has marketed the budget. If you recall, he went on a couple of road shows recently. He went to London, he went to Singapore, and he promised foreign investors that you know he would do all the right things. Uh, on the policy front, yes, there is fiscal consolidation. Institutional investors will be happy with that. He has reined in the fiscal deficit and has promised to do it again next year. He has upped plan expenditure, expenditure significantly. That too is good. And he hopes to collect revenues. But what uh, seems to have disappointed the markets or spoiled the mood this uh, afternoon is the amendment to section 90 and 90A. Now this is the this relates to the tax residency certificate and now the amendments uh, would say that while this is a sufficient con condition it's not I mean while this is a necessary condition it's not a sufficient condition that would allow the tax authorities to question foreign investments coming in from Mauritius or similar locations despite there being a tax treaty. In fact, uh, eminent uh, tax expert H.P. Ranina went so far as to say that this amendment could be uh, uh, implemented with retrospective effect. Now that can be really bad news for the market at a time when the finance minister has been saying that any tax matters would be non-adversarial. So uh, this is uh, not really good news for the market and which is why the markets today have come off so sharply and foreign investors would be wary now of investing before they have greater clarity on the rules. Um, otherwise uh, going ahead now it would seem like the markets would be range bound because there's no big trigger in this budget that can take the market to new heights. The finance minister has played it safe. Uh, he hasn't presented a populist budget. To that extent, investors will be very happy. But there's no big kicker or no big trigger in this budget for the markets.